uh, you are welcome back here again so in this video i want to let you know something about this having one airdrop and something you need to know about it remember having one is a blockchain on it own they has their own blockchain they are developing their own blockchain on their own this is just like core right now from this uh satoshi app the only project that have benefit uh, the users is core core is the only project that have benefit people that mine it core is the only and is the first on the app and core has its own blockchain during that call i end 727 call that time i end 7 27 call the reason is i did not go in very fast but that 27 27 call right now is still yielding for me every month i'm still any money on it every month and many people be, uh, get more money on that call many people get mm. money on the call and i know most of the people that do call that type and are seeing this video right now many of them can claim it that that's it they can they can testify to it that they earn money from core core is not a dust so and um, this is having one again this having one is just like core it's just like core they are asking us to do what we do during that call one thing that just made this one different is that the period to we use to earn this token is very little than that of core core take one years before we claim everything before we mine everything so this having one take only a month yes a month a month that is what it just take it starts here and it's going to end here it's going to end here so one thing the reason why i'm making this video is this is this thing here this information you see right here so if you have not done this information you need to do it very fast even the satoshi app bring out this information out again they bring out the information out again so this is it here this is it here secure your h1 toki airdrop on satoshi app and register for the blah 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 your testing address will be your main net address so you should know that your test net address will be your main net this period you are not withdrawing to call address as we have been doing it since all these days on some other airdrop that has been distributed to us on this satoshi app this one they are getting their own uh, address differently is different from core entirely this project is different for core entirely but what we do that period that time on core uh, we you need to do it right now or else you will not be able to get your h1 token your h1 token so this is what you need to do in case you don't know this is the step by step guide so this is what you need to do to connect your test net to connect your test net and set your test net so that you can get your uh, your your uh h1 wallet your h1 wallets your have one wallet let me show you my own i have already done my own and i have got the h1 wallet already on my metamask so this is my h1 wallet here you can see it this is my h1 wallet that is my have one wallet if i click up here you will see that i have it here separately this is it have one wallet you see bmb share you see mode i have a lot there i even have openness long test nets there i have this is the core test net we do that period you can see that i still have it here and this is the h1 have one wallet right now so that this is wallet you need to get your 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 your, your airdrop your token so this is what you need to do go to the 
having one this thing here okay let's use the one satoshi announce so this is what you're going to do click on visit this or you can check it is on the description of this video just use it the link is the description of this video just use the link there so after you use the link it will take you to this place so it will take you to this place what you need to do is to click on join the test net click on join the test net this one click on it it will take you to this place I've already done my own but let's see maybe it will still take me so I think my own is already connected so it will sh show you that I'm coming let me use another browser for it so that I can teach you how to do it so after you click on join the test net this is where you going to take you to after you click on join the test net it will take you to testnet org. so at up here you are you are seeing join test net you see join test net there then you see connect here so all you need to do is to just click on that connect so click on connect even though you click on that join it's still the same thing so you click on connect here so after you click on connect you select either metamask or you select this if you select this it will bring out all the wallets are accepted if you can see it like this it will bring out everything let's see you can see it will bring out. all you need to do is to just select one select wallet just click on select one from the wallet so this is it metamask trust wallet b network those are the wallets i have here so it will ask you to select one now select the metamask so after you select metamask it will take you to the metamask it will take you to your metamask so you need one thing let me show it to you you need to do this make sure your network here is on ethereum change it to ethereum make sure it you change it to ethereum before you start it make sure you change it to ethereum and this one ethereum so let me do it for you right now this is what you're going to do this is ethereum minute up here make sure you change it to ethereum network so you can say i've changed that to ethereum and i also change this to coming i will also change this one also here change it to the ethereum network that i have i have a lot of network there you can create another network edit account but you can create another network by clicking here and create ethereum network here again just click on it then click on add account add new accounts so you can just create another network automatically uh, metamask is created based on ethereum so in automatically everything is on ethereum so immediately you create everything and it is on ethereum network so you can just click here to rename this account here because this account then is like i i have up to 10 accounts there you can just change it like this ethereum just write ethereum there so that you can use it to differentiate it from your other account so you just do it like this as you can see so right now you can now do your connection on that site let me go back there and do it connect click on connect select the uh network select metamask select metamask it will direct you to the metamask and let's see it will show you something like this but if it doesn't show you something like this all you need to do is to just copy the link at the top of the browser just copy it and go to your metamask and paste the link there to do it so after that you need to click on connect so click on connect and let's see 
as you can see connected now it it, it has connected and it the system want to switch the network right now that it has achieved what he is looking for he want to uh to shift switch the system to testnet av1 you can see it up here now all you need to do is to click on switch network switch network so and that is all just click on switch network So uh, you can see having one now active. You can see I have switched switch the network right now. You can see finishing sign up. So that is it, finishing sign up. So that is it. Right now you now need this. This one you need this this thing here. So you need this. You need to input this referral you see in the description of this video, or I'm going to write it here. Just input it here then input your your email address there then select your country select type this type of is an institution or individual individual so select it select your country and then click on sign up so let me give you this refer to put here this uh coming so this is the referral code you are going to put here k like this exactly like this small letter k small letter r small letter d 31 small letter b small letter t 84 and small letter f so exactly like this that is how you are going to input it there so when you input it then click on and you have done every other this step here then click on sign up so when you click on sign up this is where we are going now you are now your account will be set that means you have successfully connect to the to the test next the next thing to do is to do your kyc the kyc you will see the info after this just input your your select your the the, the valid id you want to use Select the ID here, there, then do your KYC. When your KYC is accepted, that means your account has been verified and accepted. Then you can now start using your, even without doing the KYC, you can you can use your your wallet. Your wallet has already been created. You can see this is the H1 wallet. You can see it, it has been created. Let me show you the the one i have connected i have already get up to 10 h1 testnet token inside which i can use to play around the testnet blockchain of this have one so those are everything you need to do let me just show it to you let me show you my h1 have one so this is it you can see 10 h1 a that is 10 have one so you can use it to trade to, to to swap it and do sort of things on the test net boss to get your own you will see it after you do what i ask you to do after you input that referral code and you sign up you will see it just click on test net on the blockchain on the page you will see test net under just click on test net this test net here you can see it join test net or you just use this test net faucet click on test net faucet test net faucet that is what you need click on test net faucet but immediately you do that first step it is okay even without doing this having one password passport you are okay with this first with that first step then you can also claim your testnet for set so that you can play around this application you see here swap share wallet ethereum liquidity staking secure on chain app you can just play around it like we do during call like we do during call arc but this is the main thing you need for your airdrop that uh testnet wallet this testnet wallet 
is what you need this one you see right here is what you need that is what you will use to claim your airdrop when you click on it when the time is ready to claim the airdrop all you need to do is to just click on receive here then use the wallet address you see there use the wallet address to claim your airdrop so that is all that is all that is all i hope you understand this step all the step i put in this video i hope you understand them if you don't understand it if you watch it again if you still don't understand it then let me know in the comment section where you did not understand where you are stuck let me know in the comment section and i'm going to help you i'm going to help you so guys thank you for watching see you soon on my next video don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and share this video goodbye for now